Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over one longer worked example to show you how to do problems involving a mix of acceleration, displacement and average velocity. So these things we have seen before in previous videos, but we're going to sort of mix them together now. So let's get started. So in our one and only example, it says an object moving to the right has the following velocity time graph. Well, you can see here the object starts from rest. It's then got a uniform acceleration, followed by a constant velocity and then a uniform deceleration to rest. Part A says to find the initial acceleration. So what I'm going to do first is just split up the graph into shapes of triangles and rectangles. So we've got a triangle there and then a rectangle and then a triangle. And this lets me see the parts a bit more clearly. So the initial acceleration is talking about this initial uniform acceleration here. So I'm only interested in this part for part A. And I'm going to label the shapes 1, 2 and 3 just so we know which ones we're talking about. So for shape number 1, this uniform acceleration here, I'm going to just use the acceleration equation to find the initial acceleration and pick out values from the graph. So we're trying to find acceleration A. We know that initial velocity u is 0 meters per second because that's over here. And the final velocity up at this point here is going to be 20 meters per second. Our total time over that acceleration then is 20 seconds. So we can write down our equation a equals v minus u over t, substitute in the numbers to get 20 minus 0 divided by 20, and 20 over 20 is the same as 1 meters per second squared to the right in this case, because remember we were told it's moving to the right in the question, and acceleration is a vector so we need the direction. Part B then says to find the final acceleration. Well, if we look at the graph here, we're now interested in this part here, which is actually a deceleration. So we expect a negative value for the acceleration here. So again, I'm just going to use the acceleration equation. And looking back at the graph, you can see the initial velocity u will be 20 meters per second, whereas the final velocity v will be 0 meters per second. And this is happening over a time from 50 to 80 seconds. So that is a time of 30 seconds. So we're trying to find the acceleration a. We've just said that the initial velocity u is 20 meters per second, final velocity v is 0 meters per second, and the time is 30 seconds. So putting this into the acceleration equation, a equals v minus u over t, we have 0 minus 20 divided by 30, which should give us minus 0 0.677 and so on, or if we round that to one decimal place, minus 0 0.7 meters per second squared to the right. So again, we've got that direction in from the question. Part c then says to find the displacement of the journey. Well, remember from a velocity time graph, we can find displacement by doing displacement equals the area under a velocity time graph. So looking back at our graph, remember we've got a triangle followed by a rectangle and then a triangle. So I'm going to have a half times base times height plus a length times breadth plus a half times base times height. So we can show that here at half times base times height plus length times breadth plus a half times base times height. And let's look back at the graph to put the numbers in. So for shape number one, we'll have a half times 20 times 20. And then for shape number two, we've got length times breadth. So we're going from 20 up to 50, which is a length of 30 times the 20 up the way. So that's 30 times 20 plus a half times base times height for shape number three, the triangle. So this base goes from 50 up to 80. So we're going to have a half times 30 times the height of 20 there. So writing that down, we have a half times 20 times 20 plus 30 times 20 plus a half times 30 times 20, as I previously said. And if you put that all into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1,100 meters to the right. And because displacement is a vector, we need to include a direction with the magnitude. Lastly, part D says to find the average velocity. Well, remember to find average velocity, we need the displacement, which we just calculated in part C. So writing down, we know from the question, we're trying to find V bar, the average velocity. We know the displacement S is 1,100 meters, and we've just dropped the direction for now, but we'll include it in the answer at the end. And lastly, the time is 80 seconds for the total motion from the graph. So writing down our equation for average velocity, we have S equals V bar times T. We can then rearrange for V bar by dividing both sides by T to get V bar equals S over T. Substituting in the numbers gives 1,100 divided by 80, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 14 meters per second. And remember, we need to include the direction because velocity is a vector. So we've got 14 meters per second to the right. So remember again to include a direction if we're dealing with a vector. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.